سلام من ابرا هستم آفیسر رسمی فاینس فیوچر در ایران و کل خبر میانه امروز اومدیم یکی از دبیرستان هایی که دو تا دانش آموز ایرانی داریم سوئدی دارم درس مخوند بریم با هم ببینیم بشون سلام من آرادم الان شیش ماهیه که توی فنلان درس میخونم و حالا موقعیم اینجا هم هستیم به نویش اقامت نه دائم باید برم مدت حالا با هم را باشیم که بریم ببینیم مدرسه چه شکلی و یه گفت و گفتی داشته باشیم سلام 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 ای. سلام به همه گی من این دیام این ده سالمه از تهران اومدم اینجا و تقریبا شیش ماه که دارم تو شهر کیمیتو درس میخونم و زندگی میکنم این دوست من آلبرت که از دانش آموزای هی مدرسه است یو هی که هی در آلبرت یا شوتن و گام مال استودیر در کیمیتو این سیمناسیوم و در هر مینه تو وین نفرون ایران آراد و ایلا How was your first impression when you met and me and the other international student? Well, it was it was really nice to to get to know new people and and get other cultures here to this small island Chimita. What did you think about our little city and our school and the people here when you first came? Well, it was quite different, uh, like super different from the first second. Less traffic, like almost no traffic. At first I was here, the weather was super good. The school is like much smaller than this uh, thing that we had in our own city. Mm -hmm. uh, and if I want to mention any other difference, like of course the population is quite different, but it had some advantages, like I could uh, put some time for myself. Oh, how did you feel when you come here at first? Well, it was absolutely different because, uh, well, if you want to compare uh, Tehran to Chinto, uh, absolutely Chinto is much smaller than uh, than a mega city, I can say. Um, but uh, I was very surprised when I realized that I could find everything easily that I needed here. Um, but uh, there was also some problems. Uh, for example, uh, because of uh, because there is uh, there gets a, a very cold at the winters. I needed some boots uh, for. And the winter here so I can walk in the snow yeah. and for example I I needed to, to bring some spices with myself because of some uh, air food to making the, my my favorite foods for myself but yeah that was very good I think it was nice talking to you guys but unfortunately I have to go now because I have a class so See you tomorrow. Head up. Hey, you know, hey. So, how about studying in Swedish? Well, uh, it's actually pretty fun. That completely a whole new experience for us. Um, but um, uh, most of the subjects absolutely are same in or with Iran uh, as uh, mathematics or I don't know biology, history. Geography. Yeah, exactly. But there are also some differences. For example, uh, so some of the subjects are specifically about some cultures in Finland and other things like that. These are absolutely different. So this uh, being like elective, what do you want to study? Is it like a comfortable for you or you prefer something like solid to have you have to follow all of the lessons are mandatory for like one or two periods and then after that uh, the lessons that you choose is as you wish like any lesson that you like you would choose that well i knew that phil had a really good studying system or like i wanted to come come here a little more fast so i chose the swedish program and it was also much easier, but faster as well. Okay, great. What about you, Ilya? Okay, well, uh, my uncle has lived here for 11 years and also my father knew. So uh, in that way, I uh, I realized uh, about uh, this uh, Swedish program that I can come here and study here in Swedish. And well, I added, I had some researches about it and it looked very good. So I also decided to come in it and, and try it and it went very well. I, as I said, Swedish has two good things. It's fast and it is also easy. Fast to learn. 
fast to learn. Yeah, okay. fast to learn and easy, more easy, especially when you know English well. Also, it can be very useful because we have a lot of Scandinavian countries that they are almost same as Swedish your languages. I don't know, Denmark, Iceland, Norway, and Sweden, of course. <laughs> Maybe someone wants to study in schools in Finland, but studies in a Swedish university. Okay, but you both, I think I can assume that you have planned to learn Finnish as well. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so it's like long term, you think of staying in Finland. Yeah, yeah. maybe studying in a university in Finland. Perfect. Learning is your hobbies, kind of. Self-investment, you can call it. Yeah. The waste of time is less. So this is a self-investment, basically. Perfect. So you talk about the after-school uh, activities. Do you get bored? Uh, it depends. Uh, when we have a plan for it and we use it well, uh, not usually, but absolutely. For example, when there's a holiday for a week, uh, we will get bored here. So we just usually go to Turku for a day with bus. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Me and Nilio usually after school go to the gym and also I do some programming learning and maybe, I don't know, I um, actually made my diet better, quite better my foods and things that I eat because I cook myself. And when we came here, we realized that we have more free time to use here. So uh, we could just waste it completely or use it in a better way and improve ourselves. Well, at the first that I came here, I would expect a less social people in here, but it was even more or less. People don't socialize in unnecessary situations. They trust harder, especially in Kimito, because it's a little city. Uh, even if they see a f uh, other Finnish guy, not from Kimito, from, for example, another city, they see a, another Finn. Yeah, from Finnish, from Finland, and a Finnish guy. They would be a little like shocked. But uh, there were a lot of differences, but we handled it. Okay, that's great. So, well, what about you after like six months? What do you think? Is, is it still the same? Um, it's n absolutely, it's not still the same. It got much better, but uh, not exactly like Iran that people get friends very soon. Uh, yes, it gets better every day and uh, they become even friendlier with us and, and we knowing each other better, but uh, it uh, takes a little more time, I believe. Uh, but uh, yeah, I know it's hard to uh, make um, for, uh, fin like Finnish people trust you completely and become friends with each other. But when you do it and they will and they are I think very trustable and uh, if you want they help yeah if you yeah it will absolutely last forever and for example if you want their help they will try their best uh, to help you. So after after this time so have you ever made any friends? Oh. Yeah of course. So we did. Girls, boys, both. Both. Wow. Would you recommend to others come here? Um, yes, absolutely. I think uh, the people who start who want to start uh, high school, or maybe uh, they already have passed the first year or even the second year, they can all come here and use it, use this uh, chance in a well, uh, in a good way. Um, because I think uh, here they can practice more and um, use better times for themselves. And over to yes, absolutely. So, whom do you recommend to come here? Well, there are many talented people in Iran living in Iran that they are and their own world, of course. Yeah. And anyway, they are talented. They want to study uh, the different things, the things that they wish to, but the system doesn't let them. This is the place that they can actually succeed in the thing they want to continue with it. Okay, so you both are living here alone. What about your families? Are they having any plans to, to like join you? Yes, my mother is studying uh, Finnish language to uh, go come uh, probably a city uh, near Oulu and studying in uh, practical nursing. You said yeah, practical okay. nursing. My family wants to also join me. They want to come to Finland and yeah, study. So, how do you feel about the city anyway? 
Well, absolutely no one said it was it would be going to be very easy for us. But I uh, I think I accepted this, the difficulties uh, because it was a good opportunity. So I think if I or anybody else uh, use these opportunities in a good way, it will uh, have a very good um, result at the end. Perfect. And what about you? What do you think about it? Well, at the first second that we decided to come here, we accepted the challenges. There were quite a lot of problems the, the moment that I came here. And I was quite aware of them. And I accepted them, of course. I have no problem with making this decision at all. So you will sack. Yeah, satisfy. Yeah. Absolutely. It was nice to have you here. What is the language? Thank you. Goodbye, you soon. Good luck for the stuff.